Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create puzzle game, okay, using the MIT App Inventor. So let's start. So click on the standard project and my project name is Puzzle Game, okay, okay. So now what we will do here, I'm going to add some images, okay, and in that images, we need to set these images in the proper uh, format like 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll show you the demo, okay, in the last video, I already showed the demo how this app will work. So let's start. So let's go to the layout option, and uh, here we'll find the option of uh, where is the layout? This is the layout, and I'm gonna use a vertical arrangement. This one, okay, like this, and I'm gonna make this width and height is fill parent like this, okay. Now I'm gonna use here one horizontal arrangement and make this with this fill parent like this, and I'll just copy and paste another horizontal, and I'm gonna use the one more horizontal arrangement and I'm gonna add here some images done now what I need to do here I need to add the four images okay because we have to set the puzzle so we have four images so you can increase the you know uh, number of images also if you want to arrange the six or seven image you can do okay so as you can see here this is the images as you find this is the full image of dog and I have just divided cut in the four part this one two three and four part and this will arrange in the this random format and we need to arrange these images here okay so i'll just do the image here one image and i'll make this image uh, you know height or pixel I, I can make this pixel to 100 by width is also 100 like this okay and i'll just copy paste okay this and then again paste and make it here and just paste it this one so i have these four images I'll make all this thing in a center like this okay and i'll make this horizontal should be center like this and same for the this one also vertical and horizontal both center then now we need to add the images here now i'll add the dummy images here first i'll do the upload file choose file i have some images like image one so people should know that we are going to upload the images this is the part one and in this part 2, part 3, part 4, we need to add just like this. So, there should be any, you know, there should be a functionality to upload the multiple images at the same time. But we can't do with this uh, MIT apparent till now. That's okay, maybe they will update it right now for 4 images. And I'll just add these images like image 1.png, image 2.png. Uh, image 3 dot png will set here and image 4 this is just for a user to know that uh, okay, which part we have to add 1 2 3 4 now I need here one image and I'll make this with a height is a 50 50 pixel okay 50 pixel like this because we need to add here our part of the images okay so 1 2 3 and 4 we have four parts of our image okay load file choose file and we have the dog images one two and three four okay and i'll add the random images here okay suppose in this here i'll just add the third one and uh, here i'll add the first one then here i'll add the fourth one and here i'll add the second one so you know that we have the all images done okay now we need to add these images in the proper format okay to make the whole image or to the proper image one two three four now we need to do some coding basic it's really very basic coding so first i will do whenever someone click on the one okay make sure we need to add some label or something why i need a label here to make some space between one or two because whenever we open this so this will not look like uh, there's no space something so i'll add like this there okay now let's go to the blockchain so whenever someone click on the one button this is this is the image okay then whenever we whatever the image they select from the bottom that will be set here because i have clicked on this okay so to this performance to do this thing we need to set the flag value okay so suppose whenever someone click on the image one okay and make sure this is important one thing is really most important image one that should be clickable image two also clickable we need to set 
clickable should be for all image on the reason is because whenever we click on the image we need to set this okay we don't want to add the you know another button to do this this clickable done let's go to the block so whenever someone click on the image one then we'll set the variable value set uh sorry uh let's initialize the value is suppose value or okay and that should be for zero now but we'll set that value should be one okay whenever someone select the whenever someone select the uh, one image okay then same thing we have to do for four times like simple two so image one for whenever someone select the image two we'll set the global val value or i can make this uh, flag i'll just rename the flag flag two image three to three and image four to four so we have four flag values okay one two three four right now whenever someone select the two then this flag value will be two done now whenever we click on this image it means image five okay so that should be set in uh, the boxes in any in four boxes anywhere how we can get that so what i will do here we have set that uh, variable value okay so we'll use the condition control if whenever someone select the five then we have to check the flag value flag value is what if the flag value is one then we'll set this this image suppose this image will here if i'll select click on this so it means the flag value is two so whenever i select any image that will set here only okay let's go to the block so if okay logic let's have the logic if the value flag get flag value if the get flag value is equal okay to one got it then we need to set image dot picture this one and which picture image five dot picture image five dot picture we need to set that five picture to the image one okay the same thing we have to do again because whenever someone select image 5 so they will be they can be set this image to the flag uh, you know another one to maybe they can be set want to set this image to here they want to set this image to here also or here also so we need to do for the all uh, we need to code for all these things so it's simple is like again else if it's simple okay just copy and paste like if flag value is 2 then what we will do it's simple is like set image one that should be image one okay now which one is this image that should be the image two okay that should be the image two we need to set that if the flag value is two then we need to set fifth image image fifth should be the image two okay now the same thing we have to do again as if and as if if the flag value is three if the flag value is four sorry yeah and this and this and image three image four that's it okay now whenever someone click on the image fifth then we will do this thing now we have to do it for the other images also right so how how we can do this so it's simple i'll just copy and paste four times we can you know uh, minimize the code also uh, but we have to think how we can minimize the code we need to use some variable to you know just uh, minimize the code for like we are repeating this code like this so we can do this so let's do uh, basic now image 6 image 7 and image 8 done now we need to just set what we need to do just if this 7 then that should be seven that should be seven that should be seven and this is also seven then again this should be eight this should be eight this should be eight that should be eight that should be eight now again this is for last six one that should be six the overall code and that's our puzzle game
Okay, so that's really amazing and interesting game. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in comment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, like this video, and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye bye.